Hi guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to set up social login on your WordPress website using ProfilePress. And to begin, we need to set up the social login add-on. So let's hover over ProfilePress on the left hand side and we'll go to add-ons. And on this page, we just want to scroll down and once we find social login, we'll activate it. Now, once that's done, we'll move over to the main menu on the left hand side. We'll go to settings, then the social login tab. And once we're here, we'll see that we'll be able to enter API details for all of the available social platforms. For this demonstration, we'll use WordPress.com, but in your case, you can use all or any other one. I'll also leave a link to this article in the description where you can view information on how to set up each social platform. But today, like I mentioned, we are going to be using WordPress, so we'll go to the WordPress.com application setup. So first, we need to go to developer.wordpress.com slash apps and you'll need to sign up for an account. Once you have, click on create new application. Now for the name, I'm going to type in profile press. I'll also add a random description for this app. Next, I'm going to add the website URL. In my case, that's profilepress.instawp.xyz. Now we need to add the redirect URL, so I'm going to go back to the article. And here's the format. It's actually our URL slash ppauth slash wordpress.com. So I'll just go ahead and highlight and copy this portion. I'll refer to it as a placeholder or a template maybe. And I'm going to copy this and paste it in this field, the redirect URL field. Now above, I'm going to just go ahead and copy the website URL. And I'll use this to replace the first portion of the redirect URL. We can skip this JavaScript origins field. Let's move down to what is two plus five. That is seven. And we'll keep the type as web. And let's go ahead and click on create. Now on this page, I'll just quickly upload an icon. Did that off screen? And if you want, you can go ahead and add an organization name such as Acme Corp and add an organization website, but we don't need to do this. Let's click on update. And that is it. We're done. We can now see our client secret and client ID. So we are going to copy the client secret, just highlight and copy it. Now we are going to go back to our profile press settings and scroll all the way down to the WordPress section. We'll paste it here. We'll go back and we'll copy the client ID. Let's go back. Now we'll paste it and save our settings. Now, once we are done with the settings, we can move to buttons. And this part is simple. It just lets you customize the button text for each social platform. So for example, for WordPress, we can say something like log in with WordPress versus sign in and then save your changes or maybe even continue with WordPress. Now let's move to integrations. So the first option we have is shortcode and the available shortcodes are displayed in this field. We can actually drag the edge of the field to expand it. So as an example, let's copy the shortcode for the WordPress social login and I'll just quickly create a new post and I'm also going to give it a quick title. Let's call it something like social test and in the body, I'll paste the shortcode. Okay, now let's hit preview in a new tab. Okay, so here we have our sign in button and if we click on it, it takes us to this authorization page. So that's exactly what a user would see when logging in with WordPress. Now let's go back and take a look at the advanced shortcode. And the main difference is that this one lets you edit your button text. So I'll go ahead and provide a quick demonstration of this. I'll just expand this and I will copy the WordPress shortcode and I'll go back to the same post and I'll remove the existing shortcode, remove, and I'll paste the new one. And if we look, we'll see this one says login with wordpress.com. If we click on preview in a new tab, we'll see that this is the actual button text. So if we go back, instead of saying login, we'll say something like sign in. Now let's go ahead and preview. And here's the change. So all of these methods allow you to insert your login form anywhere on your page. You can also do the same using this HTML link, which also allows you to change your button text. All right, now let's add this to a form. Let's go to forms and profiles on the left. Now under forms and profiles, we'll click on add new. Now let's use the drag and drop builder and we can use one of these templates. Let's try this one. Yeah, so we actually need to name our form first. So let's just call this login. Now let's choose the template again. So right now we can see our form has two traditional fields, username and password, as well as social login. So we can actually preview it, but we don't have the WordPress one. If we go back, we can actually go ahead and configure that. So under appearance, we are going to go to social login buttons and remove all of these. Now let's scroll down and add WordPress. All right. So once that's done, we can go ahead and save our changes. 
All right, now we'll go to Live Preview. And here we have our WordPress login. All right, so if you prefer using the shortcode builder, the process is really simple. Just give your form a name and choose a template. And on this page, you'll be able to use HTML to build your form. Once you start editing your code, you'll see a preview on the right hand side. Let's click on available shortcodes over here. Now type in social login. And once you see this result, click on select. Now using this drop down, we can choose WordPress from this list. And if we want, we can also add a redirect URL. So just as an example, I'll use an account page. So this will be uh, profilepress.instawp.xyz slash account. It could be your homepage or anything else. Just a quick example. Click on copy to clipboard once you're done, then click on OK at the top. And once you get back here, you can just paste it and style it however you like. Now, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and save your changes. And also you can conduct a live preview if you wish. So here's our login button. Alright, so I really hope this helps. Thanks for watching and see you next time.